Hi everybody, welcome to The Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andra Salazar. Super excited to talk to you guys today about a great comic that I just found recently called Wimbledon Green by Seth. Everybody, today we're going to talk about Wimbledon Green. This is by Seth. His real name is Gregory Gallant, which seems like a pretty rad name, so I would want to keep that if I was him. Uh, this is published by Drawn to Quarterly, uh, one of my favorite publishers along with Fanographics. And so I read this literally just a couple days ago, so I thought let's talk about it because I was really bl blown away by it, really enjoyed it a lot, and I thought it's definitely worthy to talk about with the Art of Comics YouTube channel. Uh, this was a nominee. I remember uh, it being nominated for the Eisners in what year was that? 2006. So it was up for the best um, humor. This is really great. If you haven't read Seth's stuff, I've read not a whole lot. I read uh, Palookaville and then this book. And they both are in this kind of really cool format. It's, um, I just like this kind of more of a square, small hardcover. Beautiful in uh, in pages. I really love this stuff, and uh, it is about this fellow right here, Wimbledon Green. Who is he? Who really? Who real? Who is he? You know, what's his deal? Um, is he who we think he is? He's kind of a man of mystery. He is a collector. He is. Oh, I like this. Dedicated to Chris Ware, a good friend who always continues to show me the way. Yeah, they're buddies, and in fact. Um, Seth, Chris, and in another book I want to talk to you about, uh, Chester Brown, his books, those three kind of seem to hang out, like, in real life. And so you'll see them kind of mention um, each other sometimes in books and stuff. I think those that'd be pretty cool, because I'm a big fan of all three. Uh, so here we go. Yep, this is a Canadian company, drawn in quarterly. Uh, I can't remember where Seth lives right now. He might be in Canada. Don't know. Uh, so this story is about this character, and he talks about here in the origin. It's really interesting. He didn't really know what the story was going to be about. He just has these short little stories about this comic book collector, and it really didn't have a plot. There were just like these little quick little one page, you know, strips, and then um, about fifty pages in or so. He started kind of creating a true narrative, and there was an actual kind of plot and and uh, story to it. So it's really neat. I really like the art, of course. Um, I like the tones he's using. He does flip it around and change it. You know, we have kind of a, a more of a burnt sienna, um, uh, some umbers maybe in here, and then now we get more of an olive. And he'll go to a yellowish and a brown. and So he kind of like plays a little bit with the different tones. Um, and this is just, I love the panels. I love the uh, the fake comics he puts in here. Here's like selections of the library of, of Wimbledon Green. And Wimbledon is basically this character who is the best comic book collector ever. He is like... You know, uh, Sherlock Holmes, Batman, what have you, of the comic book world. He goes, he has unlimited resources. He gets the best books at the best cost. Um, and it's kind of fun to see his kind of adventures. And, and, and it's almost like this crime story where everyone, they're interviewing all these other co collectors. And they're like telling stories of him and who he really is. And is he this guy or is he that guy? Was his mustache fake or was it real? And... It's really kind of neat. Um, I like these, all these different, you know, Alimony Comics. I'm taking every cent. You know, Alimony Comics number three, very fine, 1947. Ill-advised romance comic, very rare, $4,500. You know, Beans, Beans Brown, second series, very rare. Uh, just really cool little, like, fake stuff, you know, little... Um, yeah, just I love the art. It's got a very nice cartoony style. It's clean. I like the tones that in here. And it's a really fun little story. Uh, I was really impressed with it. I bought it really on just the fact that it was nominated a couple years ago, and um, 
I thought, well, I got to get it because I really like, again, what D&Q do. So I figured if they're publishing it and it's got all this uh, accolades, I should give it a shot. Totally glad I did. You know, I, I finished this in a day. Um, there's actually, because of the panel, there's actually a decent amount of reading involved. It looks like he is hand lettering everything, which is fun to see. Um, I would assume that's, I'd be surprised if it's not. Uh, just really brilliant stuff. I love all these different character names. Very fine Finley, Ashcan Kemp, Peter of the Beguiling, you know, all these different daddy dotes, all these different characters, and how, um, and how they kind of mention um, this this mythic character of Wimbledon Green. Um, he sticks a lot to this 12 panel uh, grid, not all the time, but you can see that a lot of his 12 panel grid, and um, he breaks it here. There's a couple times he, he breaks it up, but he like he likes that, and I think there's some security in that, or not not security, but that standardization, I think, of the panel uh, of the page allows him then to maybe experiment more with the other stuff or just one extra step he doesn't have to um, think about maybe and, and have to develop. Yeah, great stuff. All these little adventures. He goes to conventions. It's very... Uh, I think he mentioned he read some books on... Uh, it was collecting other things. Was it collecting coins? Let me see here. He mentions he was reading some books on collecting. Uh, of book, oh, it was book collecting. So he's talking about how he's reading these bio bibliographies and, and books about book collecting. And this one particular called A Gentle Madness um, by Nicholas uh, Bassbanes. And he got inspired, like, you know what? I know comics, this could like fit in a comic world. And so he's using this idea of these really insane collectors and what they will do to get a certain, you know, perfect book. Um, and that's what this is about, really, is these little hijinks and adventures and uh, trying to get this particular collection that is that was um, that was out there. And then he'll go into some of the mythos of these books that I think is really fascinating. So not only is it kind of this modern day's tale, but then he'll go into here this um, this whole fine and dandy for like four or five pages of this fake book. And he'll talk about it and talk about how this book is, uh, you know, uh, the history of it and why these particular issues are worth things. And so he really kind of creates this world of these, uh, you know, books, these comics in the, the 30s or 40s and 50s. And I thought that was really fascinating, too. Um, yeah, just I really, really like this book. I think the art is tremendous. I think that the story is a lot of fun. Uh, it's funny, but it's not like super busting gut comedy, but it's just a lot of fun. I definitely would recommend it. Um, this is a, is a great book, and it, it has a nice little ending. Um, Seth's Wimbledon Green, kind of a short review today, but uh, I thought it was, it was a great book, and it definitely has some really great storytelling chops in here, and and uh, some of the compositions and, and things are just really, really great. So, fun story, Wimbledon Green. Again, hey, thanks a lot for listening to this, checking me out. Um, I'm trying to do this, you know, twice a week, once with a book, once with kind of like what's going on with me. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe, you know, uh, like the video, all that, share it with folks. And uh, if you got any comments or anything, please uh, share them with us, okay? Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you guys later.